share who you are and how you um, got to join us today. And then we'll go to Molly and then to Jim if we've got audio by then. Absolutely. Good morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> uh, my name is Brett Johnston. I'm one of the uh, own, two owners of Report Leadership. Um, I had the opportunity to spend some time with April back in uh, January for the all company meeting for Rapport Leadership and had an opportunity to go through her program, Habit Finder. And one of her visions that she had was this recharge group for Rapport. And I love it. Um, I love right now, I'm looking for a lot of positive energy. There's plenty of other energy out there right now. And I'm just looking for a lot of positive energy. And I'm actually working right now to develop my days in which I know that there's tasks and things that go on in the day that really take a lot of energy from me. And so I'm, I'm learning to kind of distribute those things throughout the day so that it allows me to maintain my energy right now and on a high level um, because that's where I thrive. So that's, that's, that's where I'm at right now. And, uh, and very thankful to be able to be on this call with everybody this morning. Thank you. Oh, and even the ones that are listening to the recordings will appreciate that you're here, Brett. Um, thank you so much. And would you prefer Brett or Mr. Johnson in our, our, our wonderful group? <laughs> Brett. Thank you, Brett. Uh, Miss yeah. Molly, uh, could you unmute yourself and join in, please? Good morning. Um, assuming it's morning for everybody. Sorry. <laughs> yes. uh, my name is Molly. I'm in South Dakota. And I was, I'm an, um, a master grad and an Eagle Quest warrior. And I love everything about or rapport. Love, 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 love. And Brett, it's really good to see your face. We've talked on the phone once, and uh, it's good to see your face. So I was excited to, that you're on here. Um, I have been hosting monthly lunches for a number of people for LB1 graduates, and now a number of them are LB2 graduates, so it's re that's fun. I would love to get some resources or do something even for them, a little separate. A number of my people that I know of also are uh, PC clients, or not PC clients, PC graduates. So um, it's been fun over the last couple of years, like having all the LB1 graduates and we love to get together and they're a lot of fun. And now to see them going through PC and having them talk about that. And now having this new group of people who've gone through LB2 and how can I support them as well? Because they're looking for stuff. So that's that. Perfect. And thank you for being here, Molly. You've been through a couple of our groups already. Anything you'd add of what you've experienced from the recharge, um, what we're attempting to start and uh, support? Uh, I really feel like I'm kind of ahead uh, because I've been doing these monthly lunches and they've all been in person. And now um, I'm proposing that we're going to do a little online thing, you know, uh, and have her, you know, all, I have found if you provide alcohol or if you do it during the social hour, there's a little better attendance. So everybody, <laughs> and now I don't have to worry about anybody driving. Right. So right. Um, <laughs> we can do it from home. So I'm actually kind of really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. And I think it's all, it's just take action. If you have an idea, just take action. There's no, it's always, what did um, Nelson Mandela say? You know, I always win. I never, or I never lose, excuse me. I either win or I learn. And so uh, that's how I started these lunches is a person and I, we just had this idea. It was actually his idea. And I took action and ran with it with his support. And it's just been an awesome experience. So GFDI, just focus and do it. Wonderful energy and joy and uh, contagiousness, uh, Molly. Love it. Uh, Jim, you are excited to be part of this. You've been with us a couple of times. Share what you're looking to uh, make sure that we uh, support you with today and recharge you. Well, I finally got the audio working. I was... Yay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the persistence is a wonderful gift. <laughs> um, well, I'm kind of located in a... Often, uh, you know, I don't, I don't live in a, in a large city. I'm kind of off in the remote hinterlands. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm really excited to see something start, but um, I don't know where to start. I don't have any names of anybody. I know that I don't think there's any in my own town here um, that are report grads, although I don't know that for sure. So 
I'm kind of looking for either one nearby that I can, you know, that I can join or, or if somebody, you know, wants to help set something up, I'm going to need some help because I don't, you know, but, I, I live, I live an, hour, an hour and a half south of Portland and, and 45 minutes north of Eugene. So, and Jim, you've got tons of years of experience in rapport as well. Uh, yeah. For and I'm pretty sure Brett is are, uh, are familiar with. Uh, have you all crossed paths before? With who? Uh, Brett is our, our co-owner of Rapport that was kind enough to join us today, and I wasn't sure if you got to hear his um, share earlier. Uh, I didn't. Okay, so um, just want to make sure I introduce you to, <laughs> because uh, he uh, Jim has uh, actually um, came. Th uh, you were connected with. Uh, Corinne originally, right? Yes. Uh, and uh, so uh, in the Oregon area, you've got quite a bit of exposure. Yet one of the questions, um, thank you, Brett, I look like you were writing down, is getting some clarity about what we can get them connected to and how we can get them exposed. And I've got a couple of feedbacks on that before we um, end today. Uh, and love your feedback as well, Brett. Uh, Eric, share. So, oh, well, I'm sorry, Jim. Um, one, of the things that you, one of the things that I would like to see is if if we could get a list of graduates in the area, I'd be more than happy to start calling people or connecting with them uh, to see what the interest is, but I don't have a resource like that, so. And Molly, you have a point too, go ahead. And I know that there's some privacy issues there with that, that request. Uh, Jim, do you have Facebook or any type of social media platform that you're using? Yes. Uh, yes. So Rapport does have a Facebook group for LB1 graduates and PC a, and all the other ones. I'm a member of all of them. Okay, so that's where actually where I post and I'll just say, hey, we've got a, if you're in my area, like Sioux Falls, I'll just say, hey, we've got a reunion coming up. Let's, let's do it, you know. Um, even like when I was hosting Teen Leadership Breakthrough, uh, I posted on there that, hey, if you've got anybody that wants to attend Leadership Breakthrough, um, Here's the information, contact me. So there are opportunities. You just got to think outside of the box. Okay. I love that, Molly. That's a good We're idea. Gonna... That's a good idea. And any other questions or comments you want to make sure we address, Jim, and then I'll move on to Eric and we'll go over a couple of things that we've already found out. I'm done. <laughs> oh, we appreciate you. We appreciate you being here. Um, and uh, Eric, share um, how you came to report <coughs> and um, what you want to make sure to be a support to. <coughs> Uh, so I went through rapport uh, pretty recently, probably what now five five months ago. Graduated LV one, something like that. And then um, I'm actually doing another class with rapport right now called Mod Seven. Um, so I'm giving that a whirl, and we're uh, <laughs> seeing how that goes. Uh, it's actually so been pretty I. great. Yeah. Oh, are you in it? <laughs> um, <laughs> it it's pretty interesting, actually. Um, and it, it's kind of given us some good ideas of how to do uh, probably this rapport recharge and kind of drive some more engagement within the Facebook group for report recharge. So that's something we're going to be focusing on a lot. And then uh, it's going to be a lot of, you know, starting with you guys as ground members, you know, we want to make sure that any of the friends that you have already connected with on Facebook that we're inviting into report recharge for any LB1 grads and higher. Um, so that, that's really going to be the most basic mo model of being able to get people in here to be able to get them to uh, engage and connect, reconnect. Um, just so we can start rebuilding that little uh, flame for everybody and get everyone going on it. Perfect. And Eric uh, set up our, uh, the, there's a YouTube link in the group chat and Eric has created a YouTube page for Rapport Recharge. And we have our videos from these um, meetings in that uh, group and that community. Um, so we're starting to build that exposure as well. So a couple of things that came up um, in regards to the recharge groups and how we move forward and then what we can ask for help. Sarah was one of the individuals we had in a meeting previously, Corinne as well, uh, is the concept of making sure we bring that community together, which reports doing an amazing job in building the um, ADAPT groups, et cetera. Uh, yeah, the recharge is really led by graduates. And so the opportunity is to make sure that each of them are connecting, which Molly, you've done an amazing job with. And I love how you said thinking outside the box. That's basically how we're, we're building the recharge groups as well is through a social media platform and through the Zoom platforms. So Jim, I mean, I think some of the things we could start contemplating is getting a, a group facilitated for just Oregon and creating some type of platform for that. 
Um, so you can feel a little bit connected online first. And then when you're able to get connected in person, we, we're able to support that. So that would be something we could start helping you with. The couple other conversations came up in our previous groups was making sure we had some anchors that's already on the recharge group and available. Um, Molly and I'll spend a little bit more time talking about the LB2 offline and how we can help support that. And, uh, and all the other graduates, I have a client all of a sudden saw one of our posts and she says, I didn't know you were a poor graduate. <laughs> uh, so we've added her into the group as well. Uh, so it's a lot of times you just don't know until you start communicating. Um, so that's one of the other gifts. We did talk to uh, the chef Ron and he was um, completely on board about doing an annual event uh, when we are able to do that and um, to form some funding for that to bring all the re, uh, graduates together. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun once we're able to get there. So we've got complete support of that. We'll need to build some financing structures around that as we get closer to that, but it'll probably be a good year out before we're ready for that. <clears throat> Yet we've got, we've got the support of it. Uh, Bridget, um, who you saw the video in our group has been, um, and Molly, she wanted to address that as well. We are allowed to share our information uh, out, out on these social groups. Um, at the moment, the way their database is set up, it is a challenge for permission for us to release information according to what Bridget and I've talked about so far. Yet, um, as we move forward, we want to create some type of process of communicating with people that we let them know where the leaders are, who wants to support it, who wants to build some of these extra groups. And then, uh, Eric, I think you started building a type of landing page for it as well, correct? Uh, yeah, we're we're in process of making um, some kind of basic uh, landing page for this, and you know, creating a contact form uh, fill out on there. Um, the, the, we're we're running into just a you know a few questions that um, I'll probably actually have to talk with somebody that's on admin at Rapport about um, if we need to set that up in a database that is both accessible or you know, it's, it's a little uh, a little minor details. I'll have to work with it out with an admin uh, from report to make sure that we're not, um, you know, con infringing on anything, uh, anybody's privacy or anything like that. Just to make sure the permission process. So we are attempting to address that, Jim, to be able to see what we can share with you. Years ago when I did recharge, I was, they just gave me a list, right? And I just made phone calls. <laughs> um, right. I'm not sure that we're allowed to do that anymore. So we'll, we're working to make sure we honor the rights and protect everybody, but yet also get people connected because everyone that um, is connected and recharged, you know, is walking billboards for each other of energy and excitement and joy as well as um, leadership. And so, and as Brett well, said, when we start it, it's important. Um, speaking of privacy and, um, and that, is there a reason why we're using Zoom instead of Microsoft Teams? So Zoom is one of the tools that I've used and it, it is password protected protect it or it's um, invite only and so right now it's set up as an invite and I have to admit you into the room um, I understand so, that but yeah. but zoom zoom was developed by uh, by three Chinese companies um, and it does have some authentication problems some security problems it's fairly easy to hack ah. and a lot of people are are moving from zoom to Microsoft teams and I would okay. recommend that we look into that I appreciate that. And uh, the tech person that handles all that is on our call right now. So okay. he is the, the, my skilled individual to help me uh, clarify those things. Uh, so we'll do some research into that and make sure how we um, add any additional protection we can do as we continue to help set up. And Molly, okay. I love the idea of what you said of starting to create some happy hours almost. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and also, we'd also have to have some type of protection once we're out of Zooms or out of uh, Teams or whatever we may be. Uh, but I, I love that idea too. Brett, anything you'd like to add? No, um, well, yeah, one thing, you know, is I look at what you guys are after this is report. Um, this is all what report is about. And it's not about the roadblocks. It's about us just figuring out how to overcome those roadblocks. And, and Jim, you mentioned that, you know, you're, you're kind of up there by yourself. I promise you're not. There's probably more <laughs> graduates you can ever imagine being in your backyard to some degree. I mean, within a close distance, you know that one of our master trainers lives. Oh, I'm sure. That, uh, I'm sure there are. Just, so yeah. we, we can help you uh, fill those gaps. But it's it's really about again thinking outside the box, as Molly mentioned, um, bringing the community together. There's a lot of power in people realizing they don't stand alone, especially right now. 
And this isn't something that can just benefit right now. This is about, you know, the, the, the movement, right? This forward effort moving forward. We know that this time right now is absolutely without a doubt going to change rapport for the better uh, forever. It just is. Um, it's, it's right now fast forwarding a lot of our vision into uh, implementation right now. Uh, where before we had a big excuse of, well, we don't have time for this and we don't have time for that. Now all we have is time for that. And the, and the neat thing is, is a lot of these things are rolling out um, quickly. Um, I'm, I'm very much of the spirit of mind that it's, it's always about the action for me. Um, I want to take action and learn from that action and come back and, and polish things more. And I don't like things that are beautifully polished. I like things that are real. I like the fact that we're all sitting on here and uh, we're sitting in our, our, our home office or, or wherever we're at right now. And we are just sharing real, real things. So from a, from a standpoint of rapport as an organization and, and leadership and, and the owners, I'll tell you that on behalf of Mark and myself, this is what we're all about. Um, and we're not going to stop with, with this. We're actually going to be a resource and a tool to help pay it forward. And, and when you guys talk about, you know, coordinating these events and you talk about these being led by uh, graduates, love it. Why wouldn't you be out there leading these things? You know, we find ourselves in all areas of our life stretched, our bandwidth. And Eric shaking his head, yep, bandwidth gets stretched. And uh, we just got to lean on each other. And, and the tools and resources are usually there. It's we some point we put ourselves on an island and we feel like we're the only ones that know we're only ones feeling this way or we're seeing those things or you know molly put together uh, something that very few people have been able to do and that's a teen leadership uh, class in her hometown and she just came up with the idea went for jfdi and made it happen and we can do that all over the place which again is just about making that difference and you know with our nonprofit here in utah one of our, our slogans is the ripple effect and that ripple effect, as you guys know, when you throw that pebble in the water, it, it makes ripples. And I'll tell you that graduates are rapport are more like trains. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you run a train off into the water, it doesn't make a ripple. It makes a splash followed by some waves. And, you know, and, the, and the ripples are, are all the way out there. So we've got a bunch of, of trains out there that are just right now have time. Mm -hmm. To, to reinvent themselves and redirect themselves in their focus. So, you know, that's what we get to do and, and, and love it. That's it. That's all. Love that. Love, love, love that. And it, it's so um, huge. Molly, I want to talk to your question here in a minute, but yet I want to uh, comment on Brett. I love uh, this, the energy and joy that you um, as the owner and as one of the owners, as well as just the individual um, determined to be at one of those trains and lead by example, right? <laughs> so uh, I just want to thank you for being part of this. Um, Molly's question was, is Mod 7 coaching? My understanding of Mod 7 and the ADAPT program at the moment are more of a roundtable program. It, um, it is a, a, um, a coaching perspective. It is facilitated, my understanding, from the trainers. Uh, so I will verify that and add any other um, cr criteria and resources so we can have some clear definitions for that in our group. So I can make sure that everybody knows how to find those resources and how to make sure because at this point, as Brett said, uh, previously they had in-person intensive programs and uh, there was an opportunity to expand the coaching, expand the resources, expand the masterminds, the roundtables, and that's really is what's in the process. So we're, we're working to support that. And um, really, really, uh, Molly, I think you're a great resource to be an additional add to that. Uh, so we'll make sure to keep as much as we can of the resource to you as we get them. Uh, so with that, the, the final thought to add is I attempt to keep it always to um, the 30 minutes to make sure everybody knows that we get in and out of here <laughs> um, is to uh, ask what could we be the next steps? What would each of you want to own as a next step? And what would you like us to help you support? So I'll start with Jim. Um, what would be one thing in your control that you could start um, helping us expand the recharge group and, and be creative outside the boxes Brett mentioned? So I, lo I love the idea of social media. I wish I had thought of that myself. Um, I have several private groups on Facebook, and um, I think I'm going to start one for Oregon for just report grads, and I'm going to reach out on the um, uh, LB1, LB2, uh, Team um, EQ, um, all of those 
different groups and announced that um, we're trying that we're working to set up a, a, a recharge group in Oregon and see who's interested. So that's my next uh, goal. That was a perfect catch too, Jim. You caught yourself with a word and you <laughs> pulled right out of it. <laughs> Excellent job. I didn't job. hear it. Jim. I didn't hear but, it. Uh, right <laughs> I, I said tr <laughs> uh -huh. and you, you pulled right out um, so great job uh with that uh and is there any support that you'd like us as we um go back into with admin etc is there anything that we could help support except for finding out some clarity on privacy and, and how we protect that well i have uh rapport's phone number and, and i have yours so uh as you those callers, up, we can uh, be help yeah okay excellent miss molly What's in your control? What is your next step? Like I kind of referred to this already is to actually host the uh, lunch on, or whatever, the reunion online. So through Zoom. I love that. That's my intention. The action and I'm going to take. And, and Molly, I'd be curious, would you be open to uh, challenging leaders um, of, that you know that have been starting to form rapport groups or starting to recharge groups um, to encourage them to do the same one at the same time on the same, you know, give so much time ahead and say, hey, who else wants to lead this at the same time? Okay. Uh, and, and Challenge accepted. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I will do that with you, young lady. So um, I love that. I think that's a lot of fun. And I would also encourage us to get back to Jim. Some of us, I know I have at least three lists of individuals that are wearing my classes that I can reach out and say, hey, join in, join in, join in, you know, um, and uh, yeah, and I know, that. I know that there are probably thousands of, gra of graduates in Oregon. I've attended I, or I've been on team in Oregon for PC classes probably six times. So I know there's a lot of different people up here that have graduated. You know, up to this point, I just did not uh, connect with them. And um, what a wonderful gift, Miss Molly. You opened up the door. <laughs> yep. Excellent job. Okay, Mr. Eric and then Brett, and we'll close this out. Eric, and, and next steps. Uh, well, uh, Michael, I'm going to go ahead and invite the uh, two groups that I have now for my Team 2929 and my new Team 1 in Mod 7. Um, so I will get them invited into the recharge group for sure. And then also see about making sure I get them scheduled on this call for ne next, uh, next month. Perfect. And then I will look into, uh, you know, those privacy restrictions with, uh, rapport and see about getting that website up and running, at least, at least some kind of rudimentary thing to get, uh, some contact information flowing. Excellent job, sir. Thank you very much. Mr. Brett. Yeah, one of the things that I want to put out there, I will talk with uh, my leadership team about, you know, getting back to emails and conversations as quickly as possible so we can bring some clarity to some of the challenges that everybody's up against uh, soon, right? Sooner than later, right? Quickly. Uh, the other thing that I would like to suggest is all of you have leadership training advisors and invite them to uh, join in on your recharge groups. Uh, this is great energy for them as well to be able to connect in that manner and just be a part of something instead of, you know, what they're doing all day long. As you guys can imagine, leadership training advisors right now are spending a lot of time on the phone. They're spending a lot of time uh, on the same type of uh, Zoom calls and things like that with their clients, doing their best to just bring value, you know, bring value to their clients and friends that they've built these relationships with over time. And and just bringing them into something that's kind of, uh, I'll say it, light and gives energy and it's, it's, it's really fun. I've been very excited about being on this, this call since last week when April uh, invited me and I uh, look forward to doing it again. So, and, and, and I'll make myself available. April will tell you, I, I may not be the speediest person of getting back with you, but I will get back with you. So, and, and, that's, awesome. all, and that's all. Perfect. I love it. And that's all. <laughs> Your true uh, rapport, uh, individual and leader. So my final thoughts of what I personally will also add to that is, um, and Brett, there are about three or four LTAs already in the recharge community. Um, and uh, some will end up listening to the recordings or either already in a committed um, uh, appointment, whatever it may be. So that's why we record them every time. Um, yet, um, I also, I think Molly, I would love to put that challenge to them to find a leader and that they have a resource to, to build this reunion. So please get us a date that you want to contemplate getting around. 
and uh, we can get that out right away in the next week or so, and then we can get that implemented before we come back to our next recharge group. Uh, I would love that support from everyone to, to implement that, as well as I will keep following up with leadership on any of the other ways of getting everyone's information connected with each other besides social media, if there is any. Uh, and, and one question came up by, for Sarah that I want to make sure to address in this recording. Uh, Brett, I think, please add that to your list to confirm if it's okay for them to build their own type of landing pages, groups, et cetera. As far as I know, it is, um, just like we did with the recharge, but maybe that community or that company or whatever it may be, uh, because uh, I know that's something they're looking to, and, and maybe we want to attempt to have some synergy in that. So just one other thought to add into the thought pattern. Uh, yeah, I, I think it'd be I, helpful to create some sort of an outline for that for people to build off to and and I'm looking at it and I'm, and I'm just speaking out loud because you know me, April, that uh, uh, it would be helpful that there was a link from reports page where we could actually go into something and find your local uh, recharge group and it just links you right to that and you basically just ask for an invite to that group in that area and then the administrator allows you into that group. I think it'd be powerful. Yeah. And so we'll work on the pieces of that puzzle. As you see, uh, we love to brainstorm and contemplate what we can and will create uh, and we choose to create. So uh, with that, uh, walking away, the biggest thing I want to leave with all of you is that the gift that we have to recharge each other, um, the group is exactly that for those individuals to openly express their questions, their conversations, their thoughts, and, and, and let us take it back and digest it and see how we can support each other just as um, has happened in our group today. So uh, unless there's any questions or thoughts, isn't that exciting? We aligned You're in smiling. our best. It's a, exactly. great day for a great day. We have lots of opportunity ahead of us and, and uh, appreciate everyone. Have an amazing uh, month and we'll connect with you in between. Talk to you it's soon. It's your month. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Bye everyone. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.